Hello and welcome back to Spider the Dragon with your three lords into the mat. We are now here in Ice Caverns to find loot and dragons. I think that explains the tie game, doesn't it? Gems and dragons, that's what we're after, and the occasional skill point where we can. Oh, there. Pick it up. Word of caution, little one. Wait until you grow big, <clears throat> like me, before charging those large enemies. I don't think. How long does it take to grow big, like Arik? I don't have time for a snow fight, but thanks for offering. I don't think you, I can spit snowballs in this one. Oh, what are we fighting? Are we fighting like bodybuilding culture? Is that what's happening? Spyro, some big norks up ahead are wearing armor, and in the ice cave. Armor can make their feet very slippery. Hmm. Okay. That makes sense. <laughs> Even if I wouldn't like it to make sense, it did make sense. Oh, those pets are just healthy things. Breaking all these gems in a circular manner around the floor that doesn't feel reliable, doesn't feel the best. So the mini dragon statues do give us an extra spyro. That's good to know. Thank you for releasing me. Okay. Not everyone has long speeches prepared. Which is fine. I guess that just means we are getting further along in the game. Let the game feel. And they have decided we don't need as many tutorials? Tips? Which of us? But could have made dragon buns. Dragon. Like. Jokes. Jokes. Don't make bread out of dragons. Unless that's really a thing, I guess. God, I hope my my DD players won't try to make bread out of any of my dragons. Because I will have a lot of dragons, they will be friendlies. Why would you want to kill a dragon? Dragons are good for you, your soul. And your heart. They're applicable. I guess very applicable applies to both those. Double tap the boss, it's like a mini mini boss fight. Like when you get really lucky on uh, that Crash Bandicoot uh, 2 Cortex fight and get to slap uh, Cortex multiple times.
I'm not sure what the drive from the achievement was for. I'm going to presume it was for getting the guy on skis, but was it really that easy? Oh, you're still alive. Rude. So this just that's just swarm me. You've done well, Spyro. Some dragons thought you weren't ready, but I knew they were wrong. I'm ready, all right. Uh, ready for what? So saving our dragons, of course. Okay, yeah, so it looks like I'm going down here. I'm not sure I was supposed to take that shortcut, but okay. Thanks for freeing me, Spyro. And now, where was I? I don't... Oh right, I was here. I was doing the thing where I was uh, going around all these things and then I went up there and got distracted by that whole long adventure that we just went on. So now we can continue on over here. Which might lead us back to where I previously wanted to explore. If you're lucky. But the odds are for it because this is a video game. Oop. Let's not do that jump. Well, I am interested in getting up there, but that does seem like it's meant to be just a bit of a challenge. Knowing about it makes me feel like it's almost odd that it's not something that is a skill point earning challenge. We checked over here for a moment, right? Well, I'm not gonna be able to do anything from there. Looks like we need a way up. I think one of the dragons who gave me a tip before must have been further upstairs, right? Okay, see how I can use that to my uh, to my benefit, but how do I get up there? Because this doesn't look high enough to glide over there. And honestly, that looks more along the lines of. Supposed to be doing the thing the other way around, which is I was overthinking it a bit, maybe even a lot. I was really, really looking forward to finding the path that uh, comes up here, but I was expecting it to be. Further ahead. Ah, I see it. This is where the locked chest is. Which gives us a reason to come and fly up here. Yep, just like that. Alright, that should give us the option to just go back now. And if I learn how to go back to the artisan world, we will probably go and finish our business there as well. 
Hey! You're back. Why are you back? I didn't expect that at all. Since we got our sappies over here, you know? All the coins. You say 100% level complete, but I don't believe you. But technically, it might be. But I don't see where the help points are way over there, I think. Do you think this is the place to glide from? To get there? I want to test it out, but I don't believe so. Nope. I'll say it was worth a shot, but I don't believe you'd agree. Because I would be lying. Yeah, that, that's certainly where those slimes are. I don't know. I'll let it be for now. They don't even count as... Whatchamacallit's them. That's fine. You'll go your own way there and I'll go see Dr. Shem. There's a challenge here for getting it perfect so that's a little bit scary that's that sounds like it's a boss fight again and this man might actually be a decent one Ooh, that's a nice Where did it go? Did it run off the edge? Oh yeah, yeah they kill themselves if... Uh, not killed. Let's say neutralize themselves. Apparently, I don't think we're getting this perfect on the first run. This seems to be going a little bit better thus far. That's a lot of them. Where do they drop their gems when they fall off? Or do, do they not drop gems? Or is that a matter of, well, you didn't kill them, you don't get the gems? Or is it a matter of them not even being made of gems? Okay, that doesn't go quite as I was hoping for. There we go, that's better. Then I'm gonna take the big elevator. By which I mean the large elevator. This uh, elevator does work for dragons as well. I'm, I haven't actually tested them on pigs. Oh, and there's another island up there that I didn't notice. I had a bit of a lag spike before then, like, when 
lag spike isn't the correct term, I know. But... I had a moment... A major frame drop during which... I was com taken completely off surprise by the fact that I was supposed to be gliding and ended up landing in the wrong spot, now didn't I? Oh, your gem! Maybe I should try to land right next to her. Oh well. Guess we are flying another time. Until we learn how to glide. Like pros. Ooh, I didn't notice this at first. I think I did now. Or was I supposed to glide over from there to come here? That also makes sense, I guess. I think that big guy over there might have been Dr. Shemp. A tested route. Dr. Shemp thinks he's so cool. You don't know what it's been like listening to him over and over. But I tell you one thing, he should watch his back. He should watch his ramp, not his back. Oh, well, that's not the perfect match either, isn't it? So, when he does the spinning thing, I should burn him. Apparently, not. No. I can see why this one is more of a skill challenge than the sheep one was. Though oddly enough, did manage to fight Toasty quite efficiently. Yeah? There we go. Right. Yeah? Yeah? That is how it works. Should I try it again? To get it perfect? Maybe I should. I think that's gonna be like going to work like this, where I just go into the return portal and then come back here to fight in a more improved way. I really like that sun there. That's a good sun. Oh, and that's how I die. <laughs> I had a very simple plan. The plan was... Oh, hi. The plan was to just go ahead, get some bunnies, and to go back there. You know, makes sense. For if I want to go ahead and uh, get everything from there. Which I mean, if I want to go ahead and perfect this fucker. Who does 375? Is that right? No, apparently I missed some money here as well. 
Oh right, because I allowed some of them to die off the map. Come back here. No! Okay. I have to be very careful with these guys, I need to catch all of them. Or not? Oh, they still drop their stuff. It's another 25 money that I missed. But the key has regenerated. Does that mean that for s whatever reason my first grabbing of the loot no longer counts? Is that what happened? Yeah, it's just it's back up there. Why is it back up there? I finished the level. Okay, want to see what your move is. Your move is to run up to me and then spin around the map? Let's see that again. Okay, we got the first one. That's good. Okay, and then I want to spectate this move. What is your move? Alright, this is that one. Where you spin around and then you try to pop me. But if I burn you at the right time, everything's fine. Right. And now show your move. I think this was the one where you spin around. Alright, I need to be facing you when I jump. Come on, let's do this. Yeah, I'm ready. I say I'm ready. They keep moving back a little. Okay, let's try it again. There we go. Skill point acquired. That's what I wanted. Okay, but why did I... What happened with the box that I didn't get to keep the gems? They literally just uh, open the box and uh, leave the money behind? Is that what happened? Could I have done that? I mean, I wouldn't think that that would describe me as a person, you know? I'm, I'm not the sort of person to just go ahead and leave some loot around, right? Well, I try to loot everything. Un unless there is a counter on the screen, I don't usually succeed in doing so, do I? No. Alright, so, our next task is over here, in this hole, where we die. Which just puts us back at the docks again, from which we cannot go to the other sun world, as previously evidenced. I should probably kill some of these, that might help get some levels back. Point, 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 point. Ah, fine. You like that then? Somehow this jump work now. What is this place? Night flight. But there's no skill point for night flight, is there? No. Is it a fly flying game? Yeah, it is. Cool. Cool. I didn't know whether the f first one had this. I don't, certainly don't mind. Whoop. Whoop. 
Okay, I'm not doing extremely good. The world's getting a perfect score. Because it certainly did fuck up a fair bit of of my kings. God damn it. Okay, try again. All in one is what we're after. I don't remember if this actually helps boost or not. But I now understand why they also gave the option to use trigger for fire. God damn it, I missed a thing. I'm gonna have to hope that there's an option to come around, come back around to it, but I'm not sure. Two second for this. Okay, this chest, but ah, I see. I'm supposed to start lighting these afterwards, but I think we're out of time. So retry. At least I. I find this game mode a good bit of fun, but I think that is about what we will do this time. Because I think I'm going to leave the tra travel to Artisan World for the... No, Magic Crafters, was it? We're going to leave that for next time, so... If watching whether or not I get frustrated with this isn't your thing, I think it's completely fine to catch me in the next one. Because as I said, this is this is what I will do this episode. Try my best to fly around and get everything. You can see from the timestamp exactly how long it takes me to do that, so it's you on your judgment whether or not you want to watch that. But if you do, I very much appreciate it. But for those who don't, well, I will already thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. But if you stick around, you'll get me maybe ending up at a point where I might want to swear at the game. But I can make no promises in the regard. I also don't know if uh, doing the wingy fly thing actually increases my speed at all. It looks like it's cool, which would be nice, right? It would be cool. Okay, where's the next one? Over here. So, running very slim on time here. God damn it, I think we failed. Yeah. Ah, and the lights are the last one. So, we're two lights away from victory. I feel like I might be able to get it this time. You would know better. <laughs> because you can see the timestamp. Which I cannot. Uh, of course, every time I land, that costs me valuable seconds. So let's try and avoid that. As well as, let's try to avoid running face first into a pillar? Oh god damn it. No, 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 no. I think I fucked it. Because if I... Yeah, no. That, that chest is out of my reach. Try again. I know back in the day I used to do a lot of the stuff where I would uh, try and find what the best way to handle these things is by just uh, making sure I had like some some like uh, patterns in where I would find that if I do that at that moment I may sa save some time in the long run 
but I don't think that is always the case when I try these things. But we made an attempt. Hopefully that is not gonna bite me in the ass. And will allow me to do what I presume allows me to give myself a bit of a alternative route. I don't think that is actually the case because if we come around here we currently have no way to gain additional time. Which is not the best. So let's try that again. So this is a certain pattern. No deviation. Alright, or over another time. It's also very much, don't land anywhere. Make sure your feet or horns avoid all ca contact with everything. I think I've already fucked it because I didn't get one of the chests. And that's about it. Yeah, I was trying to save myself from that landing, but I did not succeed. I was thinking if I went back there to the chest and then uh, went to the light sources, I might be able to uh, spin around, get the lights first and then do the arcs because the lights seem to end about where the arcs start. So it felt like a sensible decision to me. But all in all, I just uh, landed in the water, so what I was planning doesn't really play any role at that point in time. Okay, we got that. We need to relaunch ourselves into the air. We do our best to not land in the water. And to instead get every one of these bastards. The fact that it's always going to start like picking down when we get here is just not the best now, is it? It's like an intimidation tactic that is rather imp rather effective against people who want to get everything done on the first try, which I didn't do anyway, but you know, still. Where's the last one? Oh, that was the last one. Okay, excellent. Think we finished it now, right? I think so. I mean, we can check the guidebook. Yeah, we did. So that's good. So, but I promised I would not go to the. Uh, next world this time, just in case someone did skip out of the frustration session. So thanks for watching, and see you next time when we will go to the Magic Crafters world. Bye bye.